I got an invitation for to go to a funeral, but to me disappointment, sure the fella didn't die. He then told the manager he's vexed to disappoint in us. He apologized and we might let the thing go by. To make up for disappointing us, he took us in and treated us. He called for pint supporter for a company of ten. Until some fella questioned him, his money was he squandering. He put the fella's eyelid into mourning there and then. Well, the owner of the beer shop, he saw us all coming. He gave orders to evict us, but of course we did refuse. And he whistled on some loungers that were sitting in the corner. And for ten or fifteen minutes we were badly abused. Oh, then we left the beer shop and down the street it staggered and a bunch of corner boys started pelting us with mud. We asked them to go easy and they said that they were doing so. And then we turned upon them, left them lying where they stood. And the next thing we encountered was a bunch of Salvationers. They rifled all our pockets and they asked us where we saved. And little Mick McGinty got escorted to the station house for asking a policeman if his appetite was shaved. To make up McGinty's bail, we all took off our undershirts. Straightway to the pawn shop, we took the jolly lot. We asked for ten and sixpence, the price to free McGinty. He has had enough already, was the answer that we got. Well, we got the ten and sixpence and went off to free McGinty. But the devil take that beer shop we met along the way. And we couldn't pass the corner without having some refreshments. Oh, we spent every penny of the fine we had to pay. Then we bought a concertina for to make the high hilarity. None of us could play it. Oh, we tried our best and worst. We knocked plenty noise from it. If it was any benefit, we handled it so gentle that the bellows it did burst. And we got some hot potatoes for to mend the concertina. And then someone hit Maloney with the carcass of the cat. And he buttoned up his whiskers and began to read the riot act. He said he'd put two heads upon the devil that done that. Then Maloney hit McGinty and McGinty hit some other man. Every man hit any man to whom he owed a spite. And the crippled McNamara that was sitting saying nothing got a kick that burst his eye for not indulging in the fight. Oh, the drinking it was innocent, the sense was nearly out of us, and for a bit of rioting we quickly did prepare. We battered one another till we were not worth three halfpence, and I'm sure there was a carpet on the floor of skin and hair. We battered one another till the police separated us, then they marched us off with broken noses and black eyes. They marched me off to jail, and for me it was a lesson for to never go to funerals until the fella dies.